folks, Jason Guyman here with PressureWashHelp.com. And today, I had an interesting question come in. It's been about last week that I hadn't answered. And so I figured why, wasn't real sure what to talk about tonight. Um, I wasn't positive. I wasn't, you know, feeling nothing really um, going. So you know, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go through some of my questions here and ask one of my questions of... Uh, from Ask Jason. So um, this is a good place that if you want to ask places, you can go to Ask Jason. And this is going to be one of the questions that I'm going to answer tonight. And so if you have a question, make sure you check out pressurewashhelp.com slash Ask Jason. Or you can just go to Pressure Wash or Ask. So I'm trying to bring up my um, my feed here, in case if I get any trolls coming on here, I can boot them. Um, I haven't had none in a while, but you never know. They they do like to come and and do all that kind of stuff and be jack legs. So I'm gonna turn this off so it thinks it's talking to me. All right. So the question came from Oscar, um, and Oscar Val Vale V A L L E asked. So he put. Um, first and foremost, thank you for your wisdom and the help you provide the community. So he has a two-part question here. So the first part question is, is how is your business doing um, with the coronavirus? And, you know, I'm going to say that it has taken a hit. Jason Guyman has taken a hit because of the coronavirus. Um, you know, I had probably, probably four, five, six, ten customers that was ready to go with AdWords with me the start. And, you know, one of them was right up here. And he's like, dude, I'm, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, just hold your money. Don't spend it right now. I mean, unless you want to step in and do it, but I'm not going to advise you to, you know, we don't, I don't know what's happening. So I do have a couple clients that are running AdWords right now. Um, you know, we're not getting a lot of clicks, so it's like, you know, it's one of those things that not a lot of, some people are looking, some people are not. Um, so, so this is why, you know, it has hit me. Um, the coronavirus has, you know, that is something that, you know, the coronavirus did hit us and, you know, at money wise and that kind of thing. So, but I'm good. I'm, you know my membership. That's why I have my membership and that's how I'm trying to grow my membership. Now, the next question he had is, is it a good time to start a business with a call to action of home wash and sanitation? And I would say absolutely. Um, you know, I've said this before. Um, this is something that I would have never dreamt in a million years that we are, I mean, have we been sanitizing for this whole time? Absolutely. Because we're not using pressure. And, um, um, and so if we're not using pressure and we're using chemicals to clean, we are going to sanitize. We are using bleach. We're using what they tell us to use to kill the crud, you know? And so with that being said, this, this is a good time for that. Um, in fact, I've seen somebody out trying to do a website and do it. And today he told me that he had a, you know, and this is maybe, you know, if you want to try to maybe shift your business or maybe you want to um, think about getting on the interiors and cleaning. I thought about when this first started going down, when I got back from Disney, you know, they make foggers and they make machines that you can roll in the hospital rooms or beds and you can roll in the houses and they'll sanitize the and they'll clean all the air and they'll kill all the germs in there. Even on their, like, um, the, on the tables and under, um, under stuff and all kinds of stuff. You know, I thought about getting into this, right out of the chute, you know, and these machines aren't cheap. You're looking at thirty, forty thousand dollars for these machines. But at the end of the day, this was a way that you could make money. And this is a way, um, you know, and, and it's not in this, what the coronavirus is doing right now is going to change a lot of things. I see in the future, a lot of things will change 
because of this. This isn't something that's just going to go away and we're going to forget about it. You know, we can look back into history and history tells us it's going to change um, after a time of this. You know, after 9-11 happened, guess what? Things change. And the way, you know, the way you go to get on an airplane now is way different than it was um, in August of in August of 2001. As um, soon as that hit, it changed dramatically. So this is some things that I think this will be one of those things that we will see changes down the road of what it is. And I think the whole cleanliness and the sanitize, that is something that will change, you know. And it's like I've said before, um, you know, before this happened, I would have never thought in a million years that you would say bleach and people would be like, okay, that's a great thing to do. But, you know, even, even the tree huggers out there that are all organic and all this stuff are using bleach to make sure they don't get this crap. So I think in the future, this will, this isn't just going to go away and be done. It, you know, I've actually heard him say, I'm, I'm pretty sure President Trump is actually going to extend this out to probably the end of um, April. Um, you know, I, I actually have a training that I was going to promote and push, but I'm not pushing it too much because I don't want to get it all scheduled and then nobody can show up. So, um, I, I may put it out there um, right now. It's as of May 1st for an in-person training. It's going to be a one-day course. Um, it Originally, I got it at the Hilton Hotel, and I was just going to open it up to where maybe we go and sit around a campfire and do Kumbaya at the house, but not really a campfire, but where we could do something like that and do a one-day training, and that way we can keep our social distancing and stuff like that. Um, it is on there. It is a one day. I think I'm going to go to these one days. There isn't a, there. The limit will be 20 people. And, you know, but I also, I'm going to put another date on there that I can, if we need to move it. So I'm not saying if you want to sign up for it, that's fine. Um, but it may get moved. So, you know, you, this time of year, we don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully by April 30th, we'll be ready to rock and roll and start doing that. Um, hopefully we can start cleaning before that because this weather's starting to get going. The grass is starting to go. Everybody's outside on their back porch and everybody's looking at their dirty houses. And normally this right now, if, if this was a normal year, I would say put all your money down right now on marketing and you need to hammer down as much as you can right now. Now, this isn't a normal year, and there's a lot of people that are sitting at home, and they're sitting on their money, and this is something that this is what we got to deal with. So, um, some people are still spending. I know some people that are busy, and I know some people that aren't doing nothing, um, and I, I keep track of the industry. I see what people are doing, what people are not doing. You know, I know John Tornabini, he's lost over a hundred thousand um, dollars of contracts that backed out of him. So you know what? It it sucks, and he was going to shut down. But this is part of it. I know some people that are picking up work. Um, I know probably um, Benjamin Gregory. Um, he'll if he comes on here tonight, he's been cleaning the hospitals and he's been kicking tail with it. So. You know, with the sanitized business, that's what he's kicking it with is cleaning the surfaces and making sure they're clean and all that kind of stuff. So there are some things that we really want to look at and make sure that we push those very hard. So before I get into some questions, because I see you got some questions here, I got two things here. First off, you need to go to pressurewashhelp.com slash giveaway. And there you will find... Um, in there, you will find that um, Sean Hodges is giving away a, um, a th as soon as I can figure out how to make this work and quit being stupid, is giving away a, um, this Reaper right here. It's, it's about $1,400. And if you already signed up, you can get more entries into it. So you can go in here and you can enter 
make sure that you have right here subscribed to his channel. If you have not subscribed to your channel, you will not win. That's a guarantee. You have to just subscribe to his channel. Um, and if you want some extra bonus points, you can subscribe to Jason's channel. I appreciate it very much to make sure you're a um, subscriber here. And then you can watch some videos. You can like his Facebook. Um, and he, these are two of his videos. But this one here is the most important out of them all. You have to be a subscriber. And this is a free um, mixer box. This will be, will put you into roof cleaning and house washing. It does come with the mixer valve, so it's everything you will need. If you are looking to buy one of these units instead of doing that, it's a great unit that you can buy, and it's a great thing that um, you can do. So, definitely check out pressurewashhelp.com slash giveaway. And this is something for sure that you will want to do to give away. My next thing is, what was my next thing I had? <laughs> I had two things that I was going to go before I started going over questions. Um, but um, giveaway. Oh, this is my next one. I'm extending this deal out because President Trump's going to April 30th. So guess what? I will go another free month. Um, I'm going to let this go for another seven days. Um, so that way, if you are at home and you don't have nothing to do and you are really looking to start a pressure washing business and you really want to um, grow that business, check out pressurewashhelp.com slash free and in there you will get my membership. Um, if you were, if you did my membership and you signed up and you went into it before, um, I actually... Um, I didn't have my marketing stuff on there. You will get the marketing stuff. I actually went in there and hit the little button to give everybody the marketing stuff. Even if you did it last month and you signed up and you didn't get the marketing stuff, go back and look and you will get all the marketing stuff. There is a ton of marketing stuff in there. So this is one thing that um, is that. So um, my buddy from New York, he said he just bought one tonight from Sean. Super easy to deal with. Can't wait to get it. I'm crazy busy. That's awesome. To, Brian, I believe is your name, right? Not Gina. It's Brian. He's using his wife's account. Um, so um, this is something that is um, awesome. And that means um, that is cool. So again, let me go up here and we're going to get busy on some questions here and stuff. Because this is what I know a lot of you all like. And we're going to do it. So, good afternoon. Evening, whatever. What up, David? Um, from Brazil. That's a long way away from here. Who's further from Brazil than... Um, I've had people from Australia, Canada, um, Thailand, New Zealand. That's awesome. Um, I had a few lined up and now they said no. So it sucks. You just got to move on and figure it. And like I said, we may have to change. We may have to do different things to things that happen. I think once it opens back up, we'll be all right. And I think we'll be able to make some money. I also think, let me, before I get to that, you know, this thing, this hurting the little guys, you know, this is hurting the big guys. If the big guys got four or five trucks and now they only got one or two and they got all that equipment, they got all the overhead of the store, all that equipment and all that kind of stuff. This right here hurts those guys. So this is something that, you know, this is something that, you know, the new guys, you may see somebody start up in this time of year. Um, coming out of this, they may have lost their job. They might be a great business owner and they've lost or business um, person and they lost their job. They want to start pressure washing. They start up and blow it out of the water. Jason, let's say I have 50 gallons of SH that would take me a month to use it completely. If I were to add snotmanade 
to it, will it weaken the SNH over time? No, it should not weaken it. You should be fine with that. Snotmonade is not one that's going to kill the bleach. Um, try not to let it get too hot and try um, not to let the sun hit it too much. You keep those two things off and that will help. Um, that will help it. Having a hard time getting SH because pool supply clothes are stored uh, are closed. My brother-in-law has a cleaning business said he can get 15% you get ever get before. So um, the one thing that our company that we used to get it from is Miami products and the drivers all said by the time it came out of there, it was so hot. It was usually about 15% that day of, or, you know, it does go down when it gets hot. When it's that hot, it will go degrade down. Um, but the, it, you'll be fine. Um, you can actually not cut it. You can cut it down even more at that point. I know what I was going to show you also. I've been working on something here. And let me get it up here. Um, I have been working on, make sure it isn't me here, phone. I have been working on my trailer here. So I got an long aluminum trailer. Um, you can see the hose reels, they're nice and high. They're right at, right where they make it real easy to roll up and, um, and make it everything roll up. I will be adding another hose reel right there for window cleaning um i got my tanks mounted today dj came over and helped me we got the gas tank mounted we got the water tank mounted we got the um the um the um shoot the the soap or the sodium hypochloride tank mounted um we got the engine where it's going to be at it's an eight gallon minute pump with the uh, there the battery is going to be right on the back side there will be a a uh, guyminator box right here, and this will be um, where the roof pump and all that kind of soft wash box stuff is. And then there will be, I haven't gotten it yet, but there will be a, um, a, a tank right there. And then that tank will be the surfactant. So this is the trailer that I've been working on. Um, I got, um, it's going to be awesome trailer. It's going to be pretty cool trailer. It is for sale. So if you would like to buy a pressure wash trailer, message me and let me know and we will talk about it. All right. As, as a couple years ago, I bought a portable truck mount carpet cleaner that I can run from my trailer and go a couple hundred feet off of a reel and clean carpets and homes and businesses generator run and that is good i didn't get that i didn't even talk to you siri no shut up siri i don't know what i did but i hit siri and it's talking about my trailer um so i'm a, um so are you asking about doing carpet cleaning with it or I don't understand, but that is something else that you can do. You can transition to carpet cleaning because this is going to be more people into it. Now, there's a lot of people in the carpet cleaning, so you get to deal with all that. But is it normal to get 30 times more discovery clicks than map clicks on your Google My Business? Google My Business is making my phone ring, but I, I wonder if I'm missing out on map clicks somehow. Is Let's see. Let me move this up here. Scroll this down. I can't see it. Can't see it. Let's do something here so I can back this out a little bit. Oh, that's too far. And I'm going to scroll that down there. And now well, I'm going to hit that there. Um, so is it normal? Yes, it is kind of normal to do that. Um, let's see here. I'm just trying to make something, make it look better there. There's my sign down there. Let me put these up here. Yeah, that way I can actually read them. Um, is it normal to get 30 times more discovery clicks than map clicks? Yes, it is. Because a lot of times them two are working actually together, your discovery clicks in that. And so that is something that you it will do that. Uses the same tank as my pressure washer and you can run spinners off of it to clean ceramic towel and grout. I got gotcha. you. Um, and then it's probably hot water too, then too, with that. 
Um, I'm planning on going to pinch a penny tomorrow to buy SH. Last time I called, they ran out 15 to 30 gallons. Should be enough for right now. Yep. Um, yeah, and on that, I, I know there was a question about your, um, on your pool shop for, I know you, he's hitting Gina, but um, Brian, you can um, call, look up industrial chemical cleaning supplies or industrial supply and see if you can find it there. A lot of times you can find that stuff in that and looking up that way. Just retired from the fire department and started my power washing business. That's awesome. Um, actually, I had Al from up in, from the Boston airport area, um, came to my class last two or two weeks ago. Yeah, was that two weeks ago? And he's getting ready to retire and um, he's an assistant chief up there. And he came down to my class and he's getting ready to retire. And that's pretty cool. This is a good business for that. And you can make a lot of money doing it. Um, you can make a hundred grand doing pressure washing. And it's not, I mean, it, it, as long as you know how to do some marketing and know how to do business, you can make a lot of money doing pressure washing. How would you approach grocery stores about cart cleaning multiple times per day, night, after close? Yeah, you're going to, you know, you probably need to find the person that is the, the person that you need to learn how to do it from, or be able to get to that person. Um, you know, there's just some things you got to look at, you know, um, usually there's going to be, you know, if you're looking at your big, if it's a mom pop store, you're probably going to go find mom or pop. Um, if it's a big grocery store, you're probably going to have to go find who is in charge of that. If you have already added photos to your Google, my business, can you go back and name the photos in tiny P and G it? Or is it too late? You don't need to, on your Google My Business, you don't need to tiny PNG it. Um, Google will automatically tiny PNG that photo um, and make it a smaller photo and file anyway. So you don't really have to worry about that. Um, the naming, you're probably going to have to delete that first picture and add it again. Um, I don't know if you, I don't think you can go in there and change that name of that. So he just bought a one from Sean. So get, go to pressurewashhelp.com slash giveaway and you can get signed up and get a free one maybe for your next truck. Um, what part of Pensacola, Florida are you? Oh, you're talking to William Cooper if you were born and raised there. Um, how are you, Jason? Hope you and your family are well. We are. We're not sick. We haven't got the coronavirus yet. Hopefully we don't. Um, it is something that, you know, it's, it is tough around here, not going out, hanging in the house all the time, but you know, there is things that come out of good too. So my wife likes it actually quite a bit. SH gets weak after so many weeks anyway. Yes, you're right. It does. Especially when you start up at high 15. What do you think of the pressure washing machine that good for the year 2020 review what do you think of the pressure washing machine that's good for the 2020 review i don't know what pressure washer is that when you are new and can't get can't yet look at house size and surface and just say that it's a 500 hundred dollar house is linear your foot an easy way to look at it no what I would do is go to Google Google Maps or Google Earth, or you can look up, um, you can go to um, Zillow or Realtor.com, and it will 99% of the time tell you how many square foot of that house is. And it'll give you pictures and all kinds of things. And you, that's how I always bid it was off that. Just started my pressure washing business in Reston. Um, is this easier to read down here? Maybe it is. Uh, it still isn't easy. I'm going to have to change up the background. I can't hardly. Um, big fan. I watch all your videos. Still messing with the plumbing. Um, but it's working out well. Business is slow, but hopefully it will pick up. I think it will pick up. 
Um, and I think it will take off for sure. Um, Benjamin Baker must have been burnt, ears burning. I was talking about him earlier. Um, still messing with all the plumbing. Yep. And this is something that the plumbing takes time. And, you know, if this is your first trailer, I mean, I worked, um, DJ came over and I worked probably two hours of figuring out what I, fittings I had so I don't have to spend any more money than I have to, what fittings I don't, and all that kind of stuff. Always good to see um, you on the tube. Hey, Benjamin, let me know if you've seen the trailer yet. I'll not, I'll read, I, I, I showed the pictures of it or the video of it here. If not, I'll do it again for you. <clears throat> Pressure washer in 5 GPM 3000 and built start on Tuesday. Thanks for the help. Awesome. Just starting with a 4200, 4.2. Pressure washer. Got my first job yesterday. Hope I can get a soft wash system soon. Uh, more jobs right now live and live in a small town in central Georgia. Just remember, you, unless you're doing roofs, you can do everything with a pressure washer. Um, unless, in, you know, unless you get in some high um, stucco area. And even then you can get that with a pressure washer. You just have to use a downstream injector. A lot of people think, you know, the soft wash systems are nice. Um, but... At the end of the day, a lot of the guys are still using a pressure washer to rinse. Um, unless you're using a booster, you know, a, a 12 volt is not very strong. So I will be doing some videos coming up here. I'm actually, um, I, I, if you anybody's on my Facebook, um, friends with me, you've seen I posted yesterday. I'm looking for houses in the northern Kentucky area to clean, and I want some dirty ones. And the reason why I want those is because... I want those so that way I can, um, I can give it, a, you know, I, I want it so that I can get, make some great videos and it's going to go in my training and everything for my training. So some of the videos will be out on YouTube and some of them will be in my training. That is freaking awesome, dude. Um, Benjamin Baker just gave me 10 bucks. That was cool too. But what he said is even better. Um, so let me see down here. I'm going to scroll down there cause that's awesome. So what Benjamin Baker just said is always look forward to your videos. Just finished a $10,000 commercial in less than two days and have another one scheduled this coming Thursday with lots in between. So thankful for you, dude. That is freaking awesome. That what lights my fire up right there, because this right here is why what I do is why I do what I do. I love helping people. I love making people successful in helping them figure out how to do it. Um, you know, Benjamin watched me a bunch. He's watched a few other ones and Benjamin and I talked to him, um, um, when I was going to Washington, I talked to him for about an hour on the way there. Um, and he is a cool cat and he is going to kill it this year. Um, he did $200,000 his first year and this year, even with the coronavirus, he should do, I think, I think his goal is, uh, 500. Um, and I think he will definitely hit it. Um, and this is the guy that I was just telling you about that is hitting the sanitation, hitting the hospitals, all that kind of stuff. Awesome. Keep it up, dude. Keep it up. All right. Let's see. I'm going to scroll back up here because I don't want nobody to, um, uh, feel like they're left out. So what I'm getting it for 55 gallons, 50 for 15% 15 for $160. So you're at $3 a gallon. It's a little steep, but if it's at 15%, you can not cut it down. Jason, let me know how to use powder bleach. Don't. That's how you use it. You don't use it, period. It will leave white residue all over your house and all over your stuff so you don't use it i've gotten this question 10 times so far don't use powder bleach no 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 
by the bleach. On Google My Business page, should I put my home address or not? I don't have a shop. I keep my equipment at home. I would, yes. Especially if you are in a um, nice neighborhood. What's your average price per gallon of SH? That can be anywhere from Florida of 99 cents a gallon to we get it for $1.99 to $4. All over the market. It's everywhere. Bear Claw. The bad thing I just realized with COVID-19 is that Google Business suspended all reviews. This is not good. And last three customers I had left me a five star, but it did not show up. Ooh, I don't know. I haven't heard much about that, dude. Um, if it is, that sucks. I agree. Hi, Jason. Hope your family is well. I've always charged around 20 to 25% per square foot and around 15% big jobs. How much would you bid for a 135,000 square foot? I don't, are you talking about a house or are you, are you talking about concrete or are you talking about, um, are you talking about a house? I'm assuming you're talking about concrete and the way I would do that is, is so I could clean anywhere from depending on if I was cleaning or my guys were cleaning, I could clean anywhere from 15 to 15 to um, 1500 to 2000 square feet per hour. Um, so I would figure out how many hours that's going to take and I'd charge it by $300 an hour is what I would do. Let's talk about insurance. It's confusing. Thought I had it worked out with his cock, but now I'm not. They're fully insured pressure washers. Hate that some say they will insure you after you have it for three years. Yeah, insurance can suck, period. Um, they can jack it up. They can do all kinds of stupid things. Um, and it isn't no fun. Um, it is one, it's just one of those things that, um, you know, it, it's not easy to get it sometimes. Um, workers' comp in Kentucky was next to impossible to get workers' comp in Kentucky. And that is why I ended up moving my business to Ohio. Just because workers' comp in Kentucky sucks, period. Um, it's it, it's all private and it's not through the state where Ohio is through the state. And so that was the only good reason about having it through the state is, is I could get it fairly easy. Um, with the other insurance, I know a lot of people are starting to have issues with this. Um, I do have a guy that is, but I, I need to get him on here and talk about insurance because I'm not the insurance king at all. I don't know. I have a clue. The only forms of advertising I can do is signs and social media. It sucks that I can't go door to door and clip fire. Sign, sign, signs. Put more out. Oh, they did, Bear Claw. My customers say they'd sent reviews. So that stinks. I hadn't heard that yet. Did a $1,100 house wash in three and a half hours today. House, composite deck, detached garage, driveways, water fed pole windows. And it probably three and a half hours. Do two of those, $2,200, $2,200, and you are killing it. One is killing it too. Oh. Jason, where are customers who will ask you do extra stuff for free? For instance, hey, can you wash the sidewalk if you don't mind? How would you respond to that? Yes, I can wash that sidewalk, sir. That'll be an extra $50. But Jason, that's too expensive. Well, then you don't want me to wash it. When rinsing the roof, is it better to mist it or soak it? Mist it. You, you don't want to soak it. You're just putting a nice, you're just doing a nice, you don't want it to be running so much that it's running down the gutters. So you just want it because the chemical is what's cleaning it. Um, the chemical is what's cleaning the roof. It isn't that we just soak that sucker down. The only time I will really soak it down and really push it hard or put a lot on it is um, if I'm, if I got a lot of moss and it's real thick moss, and I want to make sure it's gone all the way down through that moss. 
Do you have some videos about deck cleaning or deck restoration? Or can you suggest a channel that shows how you how to do that stuff? I do have some deck cleaning in my membership. I do not have the restoration. I'm thinking about adding it to it, but um, I haven't yet. And I'm assuming restoration, you mean deck painting and ceiling and all that crap. Um, you know, there is money in it. Um, I was talking to a guy that did a lot of decks in his days. Um, and the other side of pressure washing has slowed down and he's got like five decks on the line right now because he's still doing decks. Um, and his, a lot of his decks he's not getting anymore because he's charging $7 a square foot um, and still getting people to close on $7 a square foot. Um, what's going on, Chris? It's a great Sunday afternoon. I had fun building a soft wash system today other than the pipe glue. <laughs> Did you huff too much pipe glue and get high off the pipe glue? <laughs> Uh, has anyone noticed the text on Google Post is removed? Ooh, I haven't. I don't like all that stuff. I haven't noticed it yet. Um, property. I am using a hundred gallon tank via gravity feed to my pressure washer. No problems this far. Nope, you shouldn't have no problems either. Um, I've noticed that some people are scared to spend money right now. Yep, they are. There ain't much you can do about it, though, dude. I've had quite a few people tell me they let me reviews. Yep, so there there must be something that they're doing that's killing them right now. The corona, the coronavirus is killing them. Actually, I'd say what happened is they got a lot of people out at Google. They're not like they're on home and stuff. So. Um, that's probably why that you're not getting there. You know, they may not, the, the review process may not be there. I'm taking, I'm talking about sidewalks at a shopping plaza, a few shopping plazas, same owner. Yeah. So I would bid that, like I say, we could do 1500 square feet to 2000 square feet an hour to clean. Um, so if you say 2000 square feet now, if you got two guys, you know, then obviously you can do 4,000 square feet. Um, but I, you know, we always charge the 2000 square feet per hour. Um, so if it was 2000, then I would take that at three, you know, times that by 300. And I know you got a lot of it. Um, so you might have to break it down to each individual place. So it isn't so sounding so bad. And that way, you know, if this, if this one here has got 4,000 square feet, you know, that's a $600 job, something like that along those lines. But yes, I tried to do it by the hour. Um, that way it keeps it kind of fair for everybody. Because if you try to do 20 cents times 135,000 square feet, you're looking at a lot of money. And at that point, you're probably not going to get it. Um, have them post a different place. Yep, I already did that. I bid my first HOA that I shrink wrap their complex in the fall. They want all the buildings done in each home as a small stop and spindle fence. What'd you end up? That's awesome. Bear claw, I got good. Yep. Never priced a job this big. Tried to figure out the hours it would take and times it by 300. Came out to $10,000. Figured. Three ten to ten hour days. Any suggestion on bidding big jobs? Um, nope. Just make sure that you are putting in your proposal everything you're going to do. Make sure that um, you put in there that you know you make sure this is what it is, and you know if you can break it down per building. Sometimes ten thousand dollars sounds like a lot, but if you break it down per building, it don't sound as bad then. Keep sending emails like crazy to hospitals, nursing homes, etc. with no interest yet. What more can I do? Um, send it to the right people. Make sure you got the right headlines. Um, make sure that the person that you're trying to get isn't off work because it's a non-essential um, person. Um, you know, you're pro you're probably looking for the guy that does maintenance or you're looking for in hospital, you're looking for the person that does, um, shoot, I can't think of the name. It's, um, infection prevention or something like that, uh, might be the person that you're trying to find. 
I know Frank's not good. Um, auto insurance owners is great for general and AP Integro is great for workers comp. Auto's owners is great for um, general liability. Do you recommend rinsing tile roofs after applying Kim's? Yes, I do on that. I do recommend doing um, rinsing the tile roof. SH uh, roofs. What's a good starting percent? I finally got section clean after going to 5%. Um, I'm usually at 6% if I'm doing the roofs. Thanks for the super chat. I appreciate it very much. Um, thank you. That's a good idea to do by the hour. I usually don't think that way on big jobs with concrete. Thanks for the time and happy to support your channel as much as possible. Awesome. God bless. God bless you too. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. What I would say is just keep asking for five stars and hoping that they will reactivate. I would think they would. I hope they would. Um, would you explain your process for rust removal using F9? Yep, follow the directions. And I'm not trying to be an ass, but there's a lot of um, directions. Basically what you gotta do is, is you gotta clean the concrete first. And then after you clean the concrete, you gotta let it completely dry. And then you, what you, after it's completely dry, you apply um, the F9, you gotta let it completely dry. You apply the F9 again, you gotta let it completely dry. And then you got to um, apply it again. And then you're gonna take water and a broom. You're gonna water and let it down and you're gonna take a broom and you're gonna agitate it. And you're gonna let it completely dry and then you're gonna rinse it off. Um, and so that's how you do it. And each time you're applying it, like the first time you're pretty strong and then the next two times you're not as strong on the on the mixture but read the instructions on the bottle is the best way to be, do it to be honest and it's not that i mean it's it's time consuming um when you're watching water dry um i always use the backpack blower and help b dry that concrete even faster um i have a natural cedar pavilion to do that has an oil stain will sh mess with the color would i be better to use a pre-carb and even if i that will i have to restrain um you could either use a pre-carb or you can use um f or uh f8 f18 i believe it is and just downstream it I got the pipe glue on my hands and <laughs> closed. It's, it was my first time trying to plumb a mixer valve. Why was you using pipe glue? Hopefully you didn't glue it together. Hope you use true glue and not um, pipe glue like I'm thinking. And yes, that stuff is nasty. And yes, it will get on you everywhere if you're not careful. If you, if you use true glue, it goes everywhere. I hope you didn't use pipe glue because pipe glue is not what you really want to use for putting that valve together. Um, if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash mix valve, mixer valve, I have my video in there of how to do it. And you want to use true blue. And yes, that stuff does get all over you and it's best to hold a towel. Um, but yeah, that stuff is pretty funky and nasty. I hate it. It's kind of like anesthesia. Anesthesia is even worse. Anyone know where, anyone know how to restore acid stained concrete? Um, I would, uh, on the acid stained, um, are you talking about acid stain? Or are you talking about like stamped concrete? Because I do know how to do stamped concrete. I'm not really sure about acid stain. There are people who want to quit their full-time job and do pressure washing full time. Would you recommend them to do that right now with the COVID-19? Um, hmm. I tell you now, if you're not working, I would recommend you bust tail and see if you can get going and start making good money out of it. Whoops. Yep. Google is too busy. I've heard the reviews will pop up. Um, I got a review from a customer and it didn't show. Yep, these are all about talking about reviews. <laughs> Talk to Benjamin Baker. He is killing it, rocking it. 
like no other. Um, I'm new to the game. Three jobs under my belt. Literally started with a bare minimum, two and a half, three pounds and 12 inch. I give my cards out while at my full-time job, UPS, but no callbacks. Um, just keep, I mean, it's not something that, you know, that's one way to do it. Another way, um, I'd be careful with that in case they don't like, you know, you can maybe get in trouble that way. Um, but you know, there's other ways to get business. I'd be putting signs out, um, uh, make sure your Google, my business is up, make sure post in Facebook. Um, you know, right now, this is a time that people aren't spending money and, you know, Make sure you're in the right neighborhoods that you can find the people that will spend the money. How would you market to commercial? Right now, if you have um, a lot of doctors and lawyers or doctors and nurses and their husband or wives are staying home, they've got plenty of money right now because they're working so much overtime. They don't know what to probably, they probably won't know what to do with their money. How would you market to commercial at this time of this? Um, email marketing email marketing, email marketing, email marketing. And even if this wasn't going, email marketing. Email marketing is key to getting commercial business. I have a tile roof on Wednesday that needs 6% with no gutters, lots of shrubs. Any suggestion, of course, to going to have to do it? Water, 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 water. Put the chemical on, water, 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 water. Rent the chemical off, water, 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 and keep watering. Do not stop water. Make sure that while you're putting the chemical on, you are watering the whole time. Do not stop watering. Um, unless you're by yourself, um, I would have that ground guy, wherever that's coming off, you're watering. But before you start, I would probably soak it for probably 30, 40 minutes, everything. Everything would be soaking wet. I mean, you want everything so full that when that chemical comes off there, it ain't got nowhere to go except been out on the ground. Um, again, one on the F9. Thank you. How hard is it on vegetation? It's an acid. It will kill anything. It will kill the grass. Um, it will kill everything. It is harder on it than the bleach is. Um, so if you overspray it, it will kill it. So you want to kind of spray like if say if this is the driveway Don't spray and where it's bouncing out that way You want to spray out here where it comes and goes that way. It will it's an acid and it's a it will kill stuff um, How would you clean veneer stone veneer stone soft wash Soft wash everything bleach kills it. I have a tile roof on Wednesday with lots of shrub. Yeah, I already talked about that one. Pressure City has a starter kit. Would it be better to buy individual equipment or buy the starter kit? Um, I would look at calling Sean Hodges too. Um, if you're looking for a soft wash system. Yes, True Blue. And I made a mess. True Blue. It gets everywhere. And it don't matter what you do. I mean, you got to be careful. Try not to put too much on it. Um, you put too much on it, it will, it will go everywhere. So what I, you can see here, I got this valve. If anybody wants to buy one of these here, I have them. I have this one right here. You buy it, I ship it tomorrow. Um, what you want to do is is be very. Don't get too crazy on this here. This is five hundred fifty dollars. Um, go to pressurewashhelp.com slash mix valves or mixer valves. I don't know what it is. It's one of those, but yeah, this one here is for sale. Um, I got one of the other ones too, of the cheaper valves. Um, this one here has the better mix valves. Um, the other one has the cheaper mix valves. These are the better valves though. Um, these will last a long time. Um, but this here is the key is. The key is, is when you put it on there, make sure you get it in the hole and, and wipe off any excess. So I have a big towel that I would wipe off. Now, when you're wiping that towel off, make sure you're kind of rolling up those spots. Because if you pick up that towel where you just did it, you will get that stuff everywhere. So I actually did it with my clothes on the day, all the, all the stuff that I worked on. And I, I did get it everywhere. I'm doing a huge moss 
covered roof tomorrow. I will post videos. We get a lot of moss here in Princeton, New Jersey. I use 8% to kill it. I followed the video on your membership. Thank you. Hey, thank you. It's stamped concrete. That was stained. It's aged without sealer and show cracking and fading. So here's the deal with that stuff. Stamped concrete is, um, you have to seal that stuff every two years. Um, so there's two types of um, sealer. You have deep penetrating sealer, which it goes deep down in the concrete. And usually you can't even tell you applied it. And then you got the glossy stuff. Um, it's not deep penetrating and it's a gloss. And you have to use this stuff about every two years to keep it looking good. Um, but once you um, redo it, it'll make it look brand new again. Clean it, put that stuff on there, and it'll make it look brand new again. Um, trying to think. So we have a Janelle Concrete that has several places across the state. <clears throat> and they actually have some... Um, um, it's called Super Diamond, is what I believe it's called. Super Diamond. Um, it's Super Diamond. I believe it's called Super Diamond. And you buy it in a five gallon bucket. It's about 200, and I think it's like 250 for a five gallon bucket. And it goes about 700 to 800 square feet. I believe so. Um, so this is something, and we would charge about $1.50 a square foot to clean and seal. $1.50 to $2. A square foot to clean it and seal it, reseal it with that super diamond um, if you're using that super diamond on like driveways make sure you don't put too much on it or you will be regretting it just trust me i went from making money on a job to losing my tail because i had to get some crap to get all that stuff back off because it was actually too thick and when the hot tires came up there it melted that stuff down and it was not pretty so Make sure you follow the directions on how you do it. Do you like an electric power washer versus gas power washers? Can you explain, expand on that? Thank you. Well, I'm assuming you, are you a homeowner? Or a, if you're a homeowner, I would probably still with, go with a gas pressure washer. Um, the gas pressure washer, you're going to be able to, it's going to last a lot longer um and that kind of thing unless you're talking about a soft wash system and and a pressure versus a pressure washer i don't know what exactly you are trying to go at there but um obviously the if unless you are uh, staying stationary then you can also use the get electric at that point um if it's not moving but if it's if you're putting this in a vehicle of any type or anything like that you want to let a gas one all day long does the course cover proposal bidding under premium membership with access to Jason? If you do the premium, yes, it will give you everything. The premium will give you access with Voxer um, on your phone. And Voxer is a great program that I will talk to you and communicate back and forth. And I will, if you have any questions, if you need help with anything, I, if you need help bidding, if you need help anything, you Voxer me and I will get that answer to you. Um, is it, it's called Black Diamond. I thought it was called Super Diamond. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been on in it. So do you like to set up on a skid and then maybe put an open trailer or in an enclosed trailer to protect your assets? that you can expand on that. So an indoor trailer versus ex outdoor trailer, enclosed trailer versus indoor trailer, outdoor trailer. Um, I like the outdoor trailer because it's easy to work on stuff. I like the indoor trailer because if you, especially if you live in an area that you got to worry about stuff walking off and stealing, you know, you got a thousand eight hundred dollar surface cleaner and all the wands and somebody comes steal that you wish you had an enclosed. The other great thing about an enclosed trailer is, is, you can ladder that sucker up. You can put marketing all over that trailer. Um, that trailer, you can put marketing down the side. You know, you can put a big stuff all over that trailer. And then at that point, it's a moving billboard. And that way you can get work while you're sitting there. How would you word a Facebook ad to get business? Um, make it relevant to what people want to see. 
so actually, I, 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 I listened to a couple podcasts here this past week about talking about this right here. Try to do stuff with, um, with selfies, with you in there, pressure washing, stuff like that, um, is going to get more better clicks of it because you, what you're really wanting to do is if, if you're running a Facebook ad and they are scrolling, you want it to look like it's not an ad. So, you know, you want it to look like it's a picture that they've taken. You know, you want it to look just like what they're doing. And that's what you really want it to look like. So, you know, and, and then actually what she said is if you do a selfie and that kind of stuff, guess what? It looks like it. So, you know what? Maybe I clean half of them and I take a selfie and say, hey, you need your house washed or something like that. Just try to do that. Um, definitely you want to add use pictures and videos and make sure that your little and, and test and test your headlines, test Test short, test long, and see what works best and what's getting clicks and what's not. Um, a good idea for those who are starting pressure washing business to work in the meantime, $150 a day is not bad on empty days. Just a thought. Um, all my clients are high-end customers. They care less about money. They just don't want to look at that dirty house in the middle the middle class people I've heard you push off for a few weeks. And you're up there where all of the money is anyway, dude. <laughs> they either got a lot of money or they're freaking don't have nothing anyway. So you don't want the ones that don't have nothing. I just hired a guy like that. He learning and I'm still getting a lot of hits. Well, good. Do you think people will use, will think you're trying to profit off the virus? What do you think some people will think you're trying to profit off the virus? Hey, I mean, if obviously you don't want to take advantage of it, but I mean, at the end of it, you still, there's people going to profit off of it, whether you want to or not, but to believe it or not. Um, you know, and here's the thing. Um, last time I checked, especially if I was in a lot of, you know, I got to feed my family. What do I got to do to feed my family? Because here's the thing. A lot of us small business owners is, is we're not going to get those checks that are coming out here. And in the end of the day, those checks that come in, that ain't going to make you live for um, two months that we've been off, you know, or however long we're going to be, um, you know. And so we got to do what we have to do to stay profitable and make money to support our family. The last thing, I, the, the most important thing I want for everybody on here is to be able to support your family and to change your family tree, maybe. You know, there's a lot of people that I know that didn't make crap that has made nothing you know benjamin baker he wasn't making two hundred thousand dollars a year before he came here he wasn't making a hundred thousand dollars a year before he started doing this you know they you know at the end of the day we have to take care of our families we ha we have to we have to take care of our families now and in the future and so you know if that means like uh, some of the guys I know that really, you know, that's made good money and they put money away in their retirement and all that kind of thing. And, you know, at the end of the day, we have to do what's best for that. We have to make sure, you know, this isn't a socialist country and everybody whatnot. This is all about, you know, go out there and make it. Now, do we want to do stupid things because of the virus and that, you know? Here's the thing. Like I say, if there's money to be made in it and we might need to shift our business just a little bit to go get that, to keep it going. If I'm in those shoes and I, and like I say, I about did it. I thought about going out there and wiping doorknobs because that's basically what you're going to be doing. You're going to be going out there and you're going to be washing doorknobs to make money. And people will pay you to wash doorknobs to make money. You know why they will? Because a lot of these grocery stores and a lot of these places can't find help. 
they're so busy, they can't find somebody to go make sure the door handles are wiped out. And here's the thing, Amazon, they had to shut down a whole, they, they're so busy right now. And then they had to shut down one whole plant because the virus got in there and it started spreading like wildfire and they had to shut the whole plant down. So they were willing to pay a whole lot of money right now to go wash doorknobs. That's basic doorknobs, lunch tables, stuff like that. So, you know, I'm here to make sure that you all can make support your family. F-13 will kill plants faster than any. It can, yes. F-9 will too. Thought about putting it on my signs. Um, you could try it. I mean, that's the thing. Try it. Um, do you attend trade shows to gain information in the newest trends and techniques? Um, I, I, I do some trade shows. Um, I pay attention to, um, I've been around long enough to know when trends are coming and when fads come and when fads go and, you know, I've been around long enough and yes, there's some new things out, fangled dangle things, but at the end of the day, I've learned that, you know, wait a year and see what happens. You know, um, I have, you know, I've downstream, you can X yet. The new fangled dangles of the of the recently was, you know, the booster pump. Well, there for a while, everybody's getting a booster pump. And then they realize that they break down just as much, if not more, than all the other stuff, and it costs expensive to make it. So, no, I didn't jump on that fan bandwagon, but I knew about it, and I watched, I knew how they worked, and I knew I understood it. You know, here's my thing at the end of the day. I don't like electric. I mean... I've worked on fire trucks for years and years and years. And you know what fire trucks have? They have two things. They have electric and they have water. And guess what? Two don't mix very well. Electric and water. So you're going to have issues with them. So that's why I never jumped on the bandwagon of booster pumps. Um, but on the other end of the thing, what I really do a lot is I go to marketing, you know, as in trade shows, I do a lot of marketing stuff. So, you know, there's a lot of marketing, different things for marketing and marketing changes freaking all the time. You will never be on top of marketing because it changes every day. Something new comes out and something, the next level of it comes out. Google slaps this. Google does something and knocks this out. Google quits doing their reviews because of the coronavirus, you know, so how do you overcome that? Well, you just got to figure out how to overcome it and do something different. So in that aspect, I try to go to at least for myself, at least one show per year on marketing or something to do with growing my business. And it ain't even got to be about marketing. Maybe it's about growing your business. Maybe it's a show about email marketing, or maybe it's a show about um, copywriting or, or something along those lines. Those are where you want to go at. <clears throat> I was trying to say it's good ideal maybe to work for a company that is getting to do as much. Oh, I got you. I know where you were going. At. I think it's called Black Diamond. We did this exact thing on a huge stamp patio. Works amazing. We have photos. Yeah, and these photos are the best. I mean, the before and after photos of stamp concrete of before and afters. It's like that looks amazing. It's about like um, paper patios too. You can make them look really good. Um, I had my best week ever this week, John. I was down on this whole COVID thing and things just started happening. Google My Business is huge and free is my advice. Every call I'm getting is from there. Awesome. Hey, Google My Businesses can be make make you big time. Hi, Jason. Ready to buy signs? Go to pressurewashhelp.com slash get signs. G-E-T-S-I-H-N-S. Get signs. 
Um, can I add a remote control on off to my pressure washer that was electric start? If so, where would I get the parts? Um, can I get a remote? Uh, I don't know if you could or not. I mean, I'm sure you could. Um, the turning off would be the easy part. The turning on would not be the easy part. I wouldn't know where you would go for that. So I don't know about that. No, it's in. Wow. That's awesome, man. Um, power clean division of house. My yard signs aren't doing nothing. Um, yes, they are. Took me over a month to finally get calls, but folks taking photos and getting financially comfortable to do it. Yep. That's why you put them out there. And it takes eight to 10 touches for them to buy. So it might take them to drive by eight to 20 times before that they to see that sign to touch them. Talked to a guy in business and he talked to me a while and told me I'd go through a pump every three jobs and also said a gun every few jobs. Uh, I don't know what type of pump, but no, he's full of crap. Um, like I say, um, I don't, like I said, I don't know what type of pump, but you, you're not going to go through that. Miss Beth. Sorry about your father. It sucks having to deal with that this time of year and crap. Um, but hope everything is going well for you. Jason, I heard you explain that after soft washing a cedar shingle roof, you would go back over it, it with something. Can you please explain again what you went back over with it? Um... What's that stuff called? Let me see if I can find it here. I think it's called this. If it's this, I'll I'll pull you over here to it. Uh, yep, this is it. So what I used is this stuff right here, Beth. Um, it is called Cedar Renew. Um, it is out of Chicago, I believe. And I believe they will sell it to you. Um, it's not the cheapest stuff in the, um, the, yeah, this is it, Cedar Renew. And this is, it has stuff to preserve the wood and stuff. And um, it does look really cool when you're done. Um, I believe they sell it. I think it does. Um, they used to sell it. Let's see, find an applicator. I don't know if, you might have to contact them to get it. Um, but, um I do, they used to sell this stuff. Um, I would call that Cedar Renew there and see if they sell it. They're out of Chicago is where the main office is. Um, and this is a great product that we would use on there. Um, so let's see if you can see the before and afters here. Um, that's pretty freaking amazing. Um, you can do some different, um, different colors. It's not all that you can actually use different colors. So this is a different color versus this is a different color. So you can actually, um, in doing it for the, 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 the stuff that you use. Um, main screen. Is there anything you would suggest for X jetting to clean siding and brick? Currently, I only get chemicals from Home Depot. Or Menards, yes. Sodium hypochlorite, SH, pool shock. Um, get it for, um, you can get it at pool stores. Um, go check out some of my other videos. Go check out my house washing video. Um, go check out this right here, to be honest. This is where your best bet to go. Go to pressurewashhelp.com slash free, and you will get 30 days free of my membership. Um, and I will teach you everything you need to know to how to house wash. That's where you really need to go at 100% Chris. Um, main screen. All right. Did, did you just say I can take an electric pressure washer and convert it to a soft wash system that would be cheaper than an actual soft wash system at first glance? I need a roof. 
wash system cheap. No, you can't take a pressure washer and make it convert it into a soft wash system. I was thinking, I don't know exactly what his question was up there, but you can take a, you can make a soft wash system cheap. Um, go to, I'm going to go back over here and I'll show you. Go to pressurewashhelp.com, pressurewashhelp.com slash store. And when you go there, it will take you to this page coming up here as soon as my computer works. And in there you will find um, the all the stuff you need to do a roof system. Um, there's a couple, so you go right here to roof soft, um, roof pump soft wash system. Um, and then here, this will give you all the stuff you need to do it. I have put several different pumps on here. So if you want to go with a $65 pump, you can start out with a $65 pump. Um, this is all, the, so this is your soft wash Zilla hose. This is your suction hose. And this here will make your um, gun parts and you don't have to get all the electrical parts, but this is your breaker. This is your switch um, This is a 75 amp switch, so you don't need a relay But this is how you can make a sh cheap soft wash system right here and uh, for sure So Hope that helps you out Is there somebody spamming me? Uh Uh, all right. I know a lot of guys have had luck with Facebook. I've never have the ones have got mostly cheap. Yep. That's my opinion on Facebook too. Um, how many rich people do you know on Facebook? I'm just saying. Just liked and subscribed retired fireman from West West Compton. Awesome. And also, if you want to, go to pressurewashhelp.com slash giveaway. Trying to get Sean Hodges' um, pressure. He's trying to get him to um, a thousand people. So if you go there, make sure the most important thing you do is, is subscribe to his channel. That's the only way you'll win it. Um, and then you can also subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it very much. And then this is way. So if you've went here and you have already signed up, um, you can get more, um, three per, for, for, you know, you can get more ways to share it also. Um, part of the stimulus package is 10,000, no payback grant from the government for small business owners. And then they'll tax it to you next year. Absolutely correct. Your success is equivalent to why to your why. And when your family is your why, the sky is the limit. All depends on how bad you want it. You are absolutely right, Benjamin. I agree a hundred percent. You know, if you don't know what your why is, what if you don't know what your why is, you it's hard to be successful, period. Um, you know, my why is, is to support my family and to put food on my, on my kid's table. That's what my why is. And it's not to live poor. I, you know, I like going on vacation. I do. I like taking my family on vacation. Um, five and a half GPM pump versus eight GPM to clean concrete, 20 inch surface cleaner or larger. Um, the eight gallon a minute pump will make you clean faster and you can use a 20 inch surface cleaner with a four bar tip and you'll be able to run with it. Yep. Jeremy, what's keeping you busy house washing? I think we're going to be okay because pressure washing is a luxury service. That's funny. I thought of just doing front and back door clean the germ kills <laughs> clean to kill the germs um
Yeah, I don't need to hear that. Um, the signs are running behind right now. I've ordered them about a month ago and they still not arrived, but they're in the queue. Really? That gone. All right. I got to go do something here real quick. Um, John, the maps packs of Google and the rich people in the area, they are calling for one job. I'm pushing packages on them. Packages, packages, packages. You never heard me say that one before, have you? You got to do packages. Packages, packages, packages. Packages 100%. Um, I had nothing, nothing. Now I see just how wrong I was. Had everything. You just had to realize you can do it. Um, let's see. So, I see what's going on here now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I've, I've actually blocked him. I don't know. That was probably the right thing to do, but... Um, do you market to new suburb homes in high end or old timer? Um, new suburb homes, you know, if they're new, then they don't need clean. You, you just got to see what your market is. Um, all right. When's the new website coming? I think that was scamming. Looked like it. That's why I blocked him. Um, find yourself a good Pentecostal church. They surely got what you need. Go to the really good ones where they get the snakes out. And uh, and they start beating on them. <laughs> I grew up Pentecostal. Um, so I know all about it. We didn't have the snakes. But I did grow up Pentecostal in a Pentecostal church. Now I go to a non-denominational church. And we just believe in Jesus. Uh, let's see. I pressure washed a 4,000 square feet house yesterday. That's awesome. That is awesome. I was actually listening to you a while back. And that day you spoke of package deals. Been doing them since. And they work like a charm. Can you believe it? I love packages. I was talking to, who was I talking to today? So in my membership, I'll talk to you a little bit. So if you join my membership, and even if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash free, this is something that you will get, pressurewashhelp.com slash free, and you go in there, and in there you will find that you can join the, um, you will find that you can get um, into um, my Facebook group. And in that Facebook group, what I'm going to start doing twice a month, I'm going to do a Zoom call. And what a Zoom call is, is, Keep basically what I did last week with um, the group. You can come on, you can join into that group, and then I will talk, and then I will actually bring everybody up on the screen, and we can, and I can talk back and forth to everybody. And and so Ryan um, was the only one on there tonight because it kind of got stupid and all that kind of stuff. But Ryan came in there. And um, he, I actually reviewed his website last, or I reviewed his website a couple months ago, or a month or two ago, and and so I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation point with him, and I talked with him for an hour because he was the only one on there. So this is something that is going to be in my membership that is part of my membership. So if you're in my Facebook group, and if you're in my membership, and you're in my Facebook group, I'm gonna, I don't know what night it, it's probably going to be on Sunday night still. Um, I may move it, but I don't know yet. And it's going to be a Zoom Q&A. You ask questions, 
I answer. And instead, or maybe somebody else might do really well with it in that group, or they've had good success. And so this will be a community thing that I'm doing to help grow my membership, and I'm helping to help grow your business. And and honestly, I think if we can, if if the people that come into there and they and and it can build accountability. And honestly, what can help grow your business more than anything is a little bit of accountability. You know, hey, did you do that last week? That can grow your business. So that is something that you can do, and that is what it is. And and that's got me on the talk about packages because he was talking about packages too of how it helped him grow his business. He's like, I sold a concrete job that last year I would have never even got because I didn't upsell it because I didn't put it as a package. So use packages. Packages are a great way to make good money um, and make it easy. I find it hard to get people to spend money on washing at the moment. Some people will, some people won't. My machine is coming tomorrow. Can't wait. Awesome. What's Mr. Baker's Facebook page? I don't know. He'll probably tell you if he wants to know. Where can I find um, buy this Cleanse All BC? Um, I know well, uh, Raymond did a video on it. Um, you can buy it. Um, Eco, Eco Kim is the one that is selling it. Um, actually, um, if you look up Cleanse All BC, you'll see places that you can buy it. Um, the cheapest place I seen it was from Hurry Clean. They had it for five gallon bucket for like a hundred and some dollars. So, um, but they have a couple different places. Actually, there was one, another one cheaper than they was. Had a crazy house wash today. Their spigots would not turn off. It physically intact, but I think something internal failed while I was on the job. Should I pay for the plumbing as a good faith? Um. You can replace the guts. I've replaced the guts before. Um, it depends on what the customer really wants you to do. You know, if they're kind of static, if they got a lot of money and they're like, I ah, don't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. But if they're like, oh, you know, then I would maybe fix it. Um, I fixed, I've fixed them before. Um, I actually went to the store and bought the guts and stuck back in them. One acre white plastic fence, mold all over it. Can I just soft wash it with bleach? Dark green grass all around it. Yep, you can. I would downstream it. Make sure you don't go too strong because otherwise all the grass around it won't be green anymore. It'll be brown. How are you washing awnings? I use bleach and I wash them that way. Um, Eco, they sell it. Yep, BC, you can check your local masonry stores. That is 100 correct. Um, some of those will have um, the Eco Chem chemicals. They sell other stuff too besides um, that. Um, but yes, you are correct, Danny, on that right there, 100%. Jason, thanks for the good information. I'm out of here. God bless. Have a great evening. You too. Um, yeah, you don't call Eco Kim because they're a bunch of jack legs up there. They're kind of a bunch of um, JAs. Just saying. Um, Jason, did you see my question today on your email? I hope it wasn't too stupid laugh out loud i'm a nervous i just want to make sure i get the right stuff uh i don't know if i've seen it or not let me see something here and i'll let you know if i've seen it did you do it as an ask yep right there um i'll actually this may be a stupid question i think already will a half inch flexible air hose work as a supply line hose for my soft wash system putting together i'm doing a five actually it will um you can use it i would highly suggest you get it in a one section piece try not to do multiple sections with the hoe rings in the middle because what will happen is is the o-ring will get eaten out of it and you have break points in the middle and you don't want that you want one long hose so that way you don't have possibilities of breakage um, or leaking in the middle so make sure if you do it you do long you do it all the way through does that make i hope that helps you out makes sense um that's great so that's one last question i got to answer and get back with you <laughs> but yes it will work there's a lot of people that use it and have good luck with it what's a what's a roof weight limit uh i 
depends on how rotted it is or i mean i don't know they hold snow and all that so um what downstream should i use on a five gallon a minute you can either use the 2.3 or you can use the 2.1 the 2.1 downstream injector will actually pull more soap so i would probably go with the 2.1 one um you can but like i said i think the 3.5 is actually rated from five to eight and uh and the 2.1 is rated from three to five, I would use that one. You'll actually pull more soap then that way. All right, guys, I've been on here for an hour and a half. Um, yeah, wait, I hope that answered your question. Um, but yes, I've been on here an hour and a half. Go check out, like I say, I seen the government is changed. Mr. Trump said that it's probably going to um, April um, 30th. So I'm gonna give another week away for free. Um, um, so go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash free, get 30 days, go join the Facebook group, the Facebook and go and get in them weekly or bi-weekly meetings that I'm going to start having. That's going to be zoom called through. So that way also go to check out pressurewashhelp.com slash giveaway and make sure you have signed up and make sure you have went and liked his and subscribed to his, um, YouTube channel. Um, I don't care if you watch it or not, but make sure you subscribe to it so you can win. That is one thing that I want you to make sure. Do you guys use your soft wash hose to water plants while you downstream with your pressure washer? Or do you hook up a garden hose to the customer's picket? We hook up a garden. I hook up a garden hose and I wash it with the, um, I can, with, before I start putting chemical. So if I don't house wash rinse really good, then I do a roof wash, very little drippage, and then rinse everything down again. You think that I'm having a problem with plants dying or getting damaged. You have to, um, on the house, on the roof, house washing, you don't have to rinse so much, but on the roof cleaning, you absolutely do. Um, but all right, so uh, this is Sunday night. What the heck for the is Bobby Walker on here? Just give me a thumbs down. So, um, but again, check out that stuff. Hope you all have a great week this week. Um, if you're home being doing social distancing, this is a great time that we can work on our website. This is a great time we can work on our all our stuff. Um, everything that we need to work on to make sure that we're getting that stuff done and make sure that we are trying to get our week ready to go you know this is a good time you know i would still be putting out signs i would definitely get out my signs i would you know because maybe nobody else is picking it up oh was that you troy <laughs> um but that is something that i would definitely work on and get that done hope you all have a great week stay safe um make sure that you are um, able to just support your family. And that's what I'm here for to help you do and to make sure that you will be successful. Thank you. Have a great night and have a great week.